Hello and welcome, I'm Carl Murawski, and this is the channel that helps you own less and own better. Last year's cooler comparison was received so well that I decided to repeat it this year using suggestions from you in the comments. Thank you so much for leaving those. So we have some American made coolers this time, all 25 quarts or less. Let's get to the comparison. Now, just a couple of clarifications. I included last year's winner, the Yeti Rodi 24. Supposedly, you can tell where this cooler model is made, either in the USA or the Philippines, based on the bottom label, but I couldn't find any information. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that this is made in the Philippines since most products go out of their way to show that their product is made in America. I still felt that including last year's winner would help the perspective though. Secondly, I included the Pelican 20 Quart Elite and their 30 Quart model would have been a more accurate style to compare. However, I wanted to keep the size limit to 25 quarts. Just know that Pelican makes a double-handled model if style is the thing that you don't like about the 20 quart Elite. It's surprisingly difficult to buy several coolers of the same size, and in this lineup we have two 20 ounce, one 24 ounce, and two 25 ounce coolers in this comparison. All right, let's meet the contenders. The first is the Kong 25 quart. The price is $259. Its dimensions are 14 and a quarter inches high, 21 and a quarter inches wide, 17 and a quarter inches deep. It's of course made in the USA. The Otterbox Venture 25 Quart. This costs $279.95. The dimensions are 16 inches high, 26 and a quarter inches wide, 19 inches deep. It's made in the USA. The Orca 20 Quart. Its price is $199. Its dimensions are 14 and a half inches high, 18 and a half inches wide, but 21 and a half inches wide, including the handle, and 13 and a half inches deep. It's made in the USA. The Yeti Rodi 24, the price is $250. The dimensions are 17 and a half inches high, 16 and a half inches wide, 13 and three quarter inches deep. And it's made in either the USA or the Philippines. The Pelican 20 Quart Elite, the price is $179.95. The dimensions are 18 inches high, 17 inches wide, 12 and a half inches deep. It's made in the USA. Before we go any further, I'd like to thank this video's sponsor, Original Grain. Now you can go to originalgrain.com slash Carl and use code Carl for 30% off their unique accessories. Now Original Grain is not like some brand new startup company. They've been around for nearly a decade. And originally they started making watches and stuff, but I gotta tell you, this, this ring right here is the one, this is an Original Grain ring. I've been wearing it for about a month now. I love it, it's got some heft to it. I just like looking at it, it has a little like depth you know, as far as the grain goes, just really cool stuff. Originally though, I believe they started making watches and you know, they would incorporate wood, hence original grain. But then they started using all kinds of different stuff like Taylor guitars, military surplus. Now the really cool thing about original grain though is that you can go ahead and choose from their different types of materials to suit somebody you may be buying a gift for or maybe for yourself. So if you're really into beer, if you're into whiskey or if you're into tequila, you can get wood from, you know, actual tequila barrels incorporated into your your jewelry. Now I have a couple of products here. First thing I want to show you though, if you didn't see last time, look how cool this box is. I, okay, I know you're not supposed to be excited about the box, but I really like the box. Anyway, I have a couple of products here. Now the watch model I have here, now this is the Brewmaster Chrono in 44 millimeter, which uses reclaimed German oak beer barrels and stainless steel. There's a stopwatch function and a three day date function in the back, can actually be engraved with a personalized message if you like. Now the ring that I mentioned earlier, this is actually the Whiskey Black double barrel ring in seven millimeter, which is made from reclaimed Kentucky oak bourbon barrels and tungsten. So that's why it has that nice weight to it. I love this ring, I've been wearing it ever since I got it. Uh, it's fantastic. And a couple of other really cool things about Original Grain is that they plant a tree for every watch they sell. And so far they've planted over half a million trees. They also offer a buyback guarantee. So if you don't love the watch, they'll buy it back from you. So there's no risk involved. So head over to originalgrain.com slash Carl and use code Carl for 30% off their unique accessories. You can get a watch like this, like the ring that I have right here or a ton of other stuff. Go ahead, it's worth just kind of cruising around and seeing what you might like. Like, guaranteed when you're looking there, you're gonna find something that would make a great gift for a friend of yours. Anyway guys, go check it out. I'll love you for it, thank you so much. The insulation test. All coolers were open in my garage overnight and then had a one pound bag of ice placed inside. They were then all placed outside in the direct sun from approximately 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. for a total of eight hours. Each cooler started off at 36 degrees Fahrenheit. 
the weather reached a peak of 81 degrees in the shade. Each cooler was then opened and the temperature drop was recorded. Also keep in mind that I've owned the Orca and the Yeti for a year. I've only used them a few times, but they're not brand new like the other ones. Now whether this has any effect on their insulating ability is up for debate. Number one is the Kong, which started off at 36 degrees and ended at 42 degrees, with a change of 6 degrees. Number two, Otterbox, which started off at 36 degrees and ended at 44 degrees, with a change of 8 degrees. Number three and four is a tie between the Orca and the Yeti, which started off at 36 degrees and ended at 48 degrees, a change of 12 degrees. Number five is the Pelican, which started off at 36 degrees and ended at 51 degrees, for a change of 15 degrees. Now this isn't a perfect test and it's worth mentioning that the cooler's color may affect how warm the surface gets. Also, the shape of the cooler may play a factor, especially with sun exposure. It seems from the results of this test, at least, that the Kong and the Otterbox are in the same league, while the Yeti, Orca, and Pelican are in another. The walls of the Kong and Otterbox are noticeably thicker, and they're also the heaviest of the bunch. Weight affects the portability of a cooler, and there's a difference of almost 10 pounds between our heaviest and our lightest coolers in this comparison. Keep in mind that a 20-pound cooler can easily become a 50-pound cooler when you fill it with ice, drinks, and food. The heaviest is the Kong at 21 pounds, 12.5 ounces. The Otterbox weighs 17 pounds, 7 ounces. The Orca weighs 16 pounds, 9 ounces. The Yeti comes in at 12 pounds, 11.2 ounces. The Pelican comes in at 12 pounds, 5.7 ounces. Latches. The one thing I learned from last year is that the latches are the biggest hindrance to usability. Luckily, in this group, we only have one rubber latch model, and the rest have their own interesting methods of securing the lid. The Kong use a lift-up metal mechanism, one-figure usable latch. The Otterbox uses a pull-down plastic mechanism, which is also one finger usable. The Orca latches are lift-up rubber ball and socket and not able to be opened with one finger. The Yeti latches lift up with a plastic mechanism and are able to be opened with one finger. The Pelican uses a lift-up latch with a button, so you're actually going to need at least two fingers to operate these. You've got to get your cooler to your destination, and whether that's from the house to the yard or from your truck to the boat, handles make all the difference. Does anyone else remember those rope handles on the old coolers? Well, each of these coolers use a different carry method. The Kong. Even though this is the heaviest cooler, it's the easiest to carry. I really like the side handles, which fold flat against the sides. They tuck out of the way, and even though this is a stout little cooler, it packs away relatively easily. The Otterbox has molded handles which protrude out from the sides. It also carries very easily, but these tend to kind of get in the way when you're packing it into a car for a trip. The Orca uses an old-school stainless steel handle with a rubber foam grip. It works, but it can be awkward to carry with two hands. The Yeti uses a webbed nylon strap and also has side-molded finger grooves for a two-handed grip. The nylon strap tucks away easily, and it's a great simple solution. The Pelican uses a top handle which is easy to grab and folds down when not in use. A drain plug makes cleaning your cooler much easier, but it's also a point of potential failure. Your application will determine how useful this feature is. The Kong, Otterbox, and Orca all have drain plugs, while the Yeti and the Pelican do not. Features and warranty. Now, each cooler has its own unique features, and some of these might be the thing that makes or breaks your decision for each model. Likewise, the warranty means a lot if you use your cooler every day, and I've linked to each warranty in the description if you'd like to read further. The Kong offers a lifetime warranty. Some of the other features are a tubular gasket, IGBC certified bear resistant, lockable, included divider or side table, tie down points, and slip resistant rubber feet. The Otterbox has a limited five year warranty. Other features include a tubular gasket, IGBC certified bear resistant, it's lockable and has tie down points and has slip resistant rubber feet. The Orca features a lifetime warranty. Other features include tubular gasket, back zipper mesh pouch, it's lockable and has tie down points and slip-resistant rubber feet. The Yeti has a warranty of five years. Other features include folded rubber gasket, non-lockable, no tie-down holes, and it does have slip-resistant rubber feet. The Pelican has a lifetime warranty, and other features include folded rubber gasket, the thinnest of all, top molded cup holders, it's lockable and has tie-down points, a bottle opener, and slip-resistant rubber feet. Price, let's face it, 
Cost matters, and since these are all high quality and made in the USA, they're not cheap. The Kong at $259. The Yeti at $250, $9 less than the Kong. The Otterbox Venture 25 in the Realtree camo was originally $279, but now is on sale for $195. And you can get the standard colors for $230. The Pelican costs $199. The Orca at $199 or $50 less than the Yeti. Now the best cooler for you is really gonna depend on how you intend to use it. In my opinion of this group here, it seems like the Kong is the clear winner. Even though it's very expensive and very heavy, it also insulates the best. Those fold away handles are fantastic and it's built like a little tank. Now, if portability is your bag and you just need to use this thing to quickly go in and out every single day, like I said, like a lunch cooler, then the Pelican might be more up your alley. And as a matter of fact, if you like that form factor, that style of the Pelican, well, Kong also offers a 20 quart, which looks very, very similar. Like I said, I wanted to keep all these under 25 quarts. That Pelican is $100 less than the Otter Box and still has a fantastic lifetime warranty. So in my opinion, those are the two that I would choose you know, the, the Otter Box, it's a great design. I really, I mean, the handles are the easiest ones to use, the latches rather. I, the only thing that I don't like is it's really expensive, the warranty isn't very good, and those side handles can really get in the way. They make the size of the thing much bigger than the interior volume. So you actually end up having to pack away this big cooler where the inside is very small. The Orca feels really outdated in my opinion. It feels like it just needs a good refreshing. The the rubberized handles, that, that metal top grip with the foam handle, it just feels very outdated compared to the rest of the pack. Now last year's winner, the Yeti, I think is still a great option. That being said, it's still expensive and it has some of the drawbacks that I mentioned and the life, the warranty is just five years. I mean, you know, it's not that great. If you'd like to see more videos that I've made on American made products, I've made you a whole playlist right here. Go ahead and check that out. Has every product that I've ever reviewed that's been made in the USA. So go ahead, I hope you enjoy that. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I'll catch you next time.